Sections group content into larger visual blocks and define their appearance. You can set the section background in the Settings tab under Style. Here you can select one of the predefined styles. In our case, we have a default background, which is often white or light gray. For the second style, let's add another section. Here, set the section style to Muted, which is often slightly darker than the default background. Let's copy the section again and set the style to Primary, often a vibrant color. And finally, let's add another section and set the style to Secondary, which is often black or dark gray. Mind that the colors of these styles are defined by the global theme style selected in the Style Customizer. So if you choose a different style, the colors will change. You can also modify the colors in the Style Customizer under Components section. For example, let's change the primary color. The primary and secondary section styles often have a vibrant or dark color and automatically change the color of their content to light. However, there are cases when this behavior must be prevented, for example, when sections contain cards which have their own background color. In this case, check the Preserve Text Color option to disable the automatic recoloring by the section. Additionally, some theme styles use lens or textures to create an overlap between two sections. To enable it, check the Overlap the following section option. This even works if the section uses a background image, as in this case. If instead, the following section has the background image, Check the Overlap the following section option and additionally apply the UIKit UK Section Overlap Flip class. Mind that if this option is not supported by the theme style, it will have no visual effect. 